Team COG coming at you with the Ferg, the man, yeah, the myth, the, the, the kind of headache. Yeah. He came in today, he came, he saw, and he smacked everyone except little Nick here. He, so Ferga, uh, you went pretty much undefeated today, minus two losses to Nick and got second and won this beautiful mat. Oh, and, and, and? And let's not forget, he pulled two ultis. Two? two. Yeah. The skill in that, but all right, guys. That, that third luck, though. Third luck. So, what did you play today, and why did you choose to play it? I did pure metal foes because I sold my dangers. So you sold your dangers. Sounds or good. Or I would have done the uh, ABC danger, but I needed money and payday and stuff. Yeah. Life. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Kids. So I chose metal foes because I, I used to play it with the dinos. I used to play with the abyss actors, and I just I wanted to play and I pure. And I did not expect to get it to do as well as I did today, but we're here. It's flipping mint. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, language <laughs> so i say we uh, get right up into this yeah so we can get on out of here yeah so to start off it's a very monster heavy deck because you know they all double the spells for the most part um we did the two bisma gear we did then we maxed out three steel three silver three gold and three volflam so these all share the same pendulum effect. Uh, you target one face of card you control, pop it, and you get to set a metal foe spell or trap. Usually I, I go for counter quite a bit. Now, level one, Bisma Gear. I really hate it, but he, he's done a lot of work for me today. Whenever he's destroyed in the end phase, you activate it as soon as you destroy it, then in the end phase you get to search one of your metal foe monsters. Essentially Skarm. Yeah. For the yeah. deck, yeah. All right, well, all right, let's keep this let's keep this gravy train rolling. And show it uh show it's so metal foes and company. Let's see the and, company. And company and the company. Uh we're, we're doing the Clee Four package. Uh three scout, one monolith. So uh did you just use this to is this just the Side infinity pack, infinity package? Yep. And this is like old school. They were playing that when Metal Foes first came out, right? Yep, I I need to find a way to get some type of negate. I I I saw him a few times today when it mattered. Yeah, I saw you gobble up a Ugh. Monk of the Tenny. That, that Tenny. So, three and one. Uh, I might cut it down to two and one. Uh, no, I'm going to keep the same. Screw it. And then for the rescue package, we do two rabbit and two hamster. Decent. So, these ones, uh, normal summon or special summon, can summon it out, whatever. Uh, activates effect that banishes itself. Special summons uh, any level four or lower. Two of the same monster, same name. Normal type monster. So you have your gold Entire driver, deck. your silver. No, just gold driver, silver, and stealing. Because it won't, because these are level five. Uh, and then Wolf Flame is level seven, and Bismuth Gear is not a normal. Decent. This one, when it's in scale, which is the only thing I worry about, I can't really even tell you the actual monster effect. So you, <laughs> it never comes up. It's like prank kids all over again. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> so in scale. So say you have two. Pendulum Monsters the same name in your face of extra deck. You banish it. This is a once per duel effect. Banish it. You add them both to your hand. Decent. All right. So, recursion scales, which is very important when it comes to metal foes. Uh, that's it for packages. And, you, of course, you have the three ashes. Um, I saw it when I didn't want it. Let, let's be real, man. You got it before the feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's it. So, those are your monsters. Uh, this is a 40-card deck, by the way. Um, so then for Metal Foes, more Metal Foes stuff, we got two Fusion, one full Metal Foes Fusion. I never actually searched it, so I may be taking it out. This is purely for Alcahest on my opponent's turn. Uh, these, these double is two different things. I search this, I usually set this one when I don't want counter. I go to my Fusion Monsters and I activate the effect, shuffle it from, uh, Grave to Deck, draw a card. You only do that once per turn. Decent. Decent. That was real fun with the Dino Foes. Um... Metal Foes traps that I play, uh, three counter, one ca combination. Might actually take combination out because I never use that one either. What would you replace for it? I might throw in two strikes or two judgment. Uh, and any sort of disruption? Yeah, because I don't, I don't have enough. I really don't. I, I learned that today. Like, sure, I did pretty good when it came, like, game-wise. But let's be honest, we were all playing kind of janky today. <laughs> Minus Nick. Minus Nick. Um... Going on to actual spells that I play, we do the three unexpected die. Is that just to get make Electrum? Uh, well, just special summons with one monster. Yeah, so usually it's your gold driver, your steel, and your wolf, or your uh, steel, steel, gold driver, steel, silver, silver, stealing. One of those if you control no monsters, and it's not once per turn, by the way. So if it's Ash, just and you have another one, go for it. 
Oh. Eat all three of them out. Speaking of another card that's not once per turn. Summoner's Art. Summoner's Art. That's so for the ones that this won't get you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it won't get you those. And I'll, and I'll also search out the uh, Cleave Fort. Yes. I, you know, I kind of forgot about that. Fantastic. Okay, so yeah, but this, today's a fluke. Just like Frank <laughs> all over again. All right. At least he's honest. Uh, and then the last three cards of the deck, uh, they're proxy right now because Nick, I borrowed them from Nick, but uh, Super Polymerization. This is the card that wasn't my end-all, be-all, and it's pretty much what got me to where I was today. Super Poly and entire boards away for the Metal Falls uh, Fusion. Oh, yes, because uh, your Adamante and your Crimsonite are basic. <laughs> and I guess if you're playing a Pendulum matchup, I was the only one doing Pendulum today. If I were to play like Pendulum Magicians, I could have went into my uh, Thrillium. <laughs> So, 40 cards, uh, pretty standard. I, I will be making changes. I might be doing the Tinny Metal Flows here soon. Ugh. Yes. So, extra deck, 15 cards. By the way, didn't side once. It came in without a side deck, guys. Oh, there's one built, but I just didn't care because I forgot what was in it. Oh, boy. Classic Ferg fashion. <laughs> It'd be dangerous if he actually knew what he was doing. <laughs> we don't want to talk about Salt Lake City a couple years ago, do we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so extra deck. Your metal foes line up for your extra deck. Uh, you one Alcahest, never went into him. He, I think he equips the monster when you special summon it. Yep, yep. Old, old school disruption. Mm hmm. Didn't really care about it. Uh, two Mithrilium. Uh, might take the, take this out for a third. Uh, two Orichalc, my favorite of the fusion monsters. Double piercing. Uh, this one is you target one card your opponent controls and two metal foes in your grave. Shuffle your two cards from grave back, adds the one back to the hand. Nice, all right. So somewhat of a disruption. And in ten years, so is that a Mithrilium? Like if you uh, full, if you were able to full Metal Foes fusion on your opponent's turn, would that could you be able to spin stuff back? It's not a click effect. It's not a click effect. Nope. It's not on summon or anything. Nope. Oh darn. Mm -mm. Also, uh, when this card goes to grave, filled grave, I got to summon a Metal Foes from the face of extra deck or the grave. Well, that's uh, decent. I used it a lot. Freaking mint. Frickin' mint. Uh, or a calc when it goes from field to grave, I gotta pop a card my opponent controls. Or, uh, actually, it just says destroy one card, so it could be one of mine, too. Uh, then my, like I said, my two standard, like... Now, were these super the super poly, poly targets? Those were the super poly targets. I went in, I loved when my opponent had two monsters, because I'd usually go into Crimson Knight for my 3,000 beater. Um, then one for a 25 beater. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then Link Monsters that I actually, to be honest with you, the only Link Monster I ever went into was the Metal Foe. You know, the fun, the fun one. The one yeah, that is banned for, or limited, limited. for a reason. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Don't ban Metal Foe. <laughs> Just, uh, would you like to give me Astrograph back? And then my generics were, of course, Phoenix, Unicorn. Uh, Cerberus, and I did play Security yeah, Dragon. It was just there, just in case I, I forgot to throw on the Boral Sword. Because right. because I can't use any of my actual Metal Foe monsters going to Boral Sword, no, so I had to find the generic links. Um, and then for the last three cards, uh, I did, of course, you have your Cyber Dragon Infinity and your Nova. Yep, just, yeah. We know what that does. Yep, sucks and negates. And that's just to go into the second negator. And my, my rank seven. I just love going into so much. That point, I wish I had Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. All right. All right, Ferg, well, thank you for the profile. And uh, remember, guys, this is Charles and the Ferg from Team COG signing out.